Shares of SNAP taking a hit after disappointing earnings that were attributed to a costly and now much criticized app redesign. Meanwhile, Facebook announcing a series of new products, including Instagram video chat and that new dating platform. Joining us today, Dan Rosenzweig's Chegg president and CEO and former Yahoo COO joins us from One Market this morning. Dan, it's good to see you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Carl, and welcome back, Sarah. Thank you. Let's and David too. Yeah, I get nothing. I get no no love. Huh, Dan? Thanks. Yeah. You, know, you know, David, I, I watched you down at the Milken conference. I thought you were brilliant. There you go. Okay, even better. Thank now you, Dan. Now we can move on. David got his compliment. Dan, let's tackle Snap first. Um, the revenue miss, uh, the DAU miss, the guide, this redesign. Uh, do you see a path to them working their way out of this? Not anytime soon. To be honest with you, I was I was reflecting on sort of. Uh, 2005 Yahoo days, which is um, when the signs are your inventory is less and your uh, price per ad unit is less and your users, users are less, um, that's, not, uh, that's not a recipe for success. So uh, normally when a company knows its users, um, as internet companies should, redesign should be something that actually increase usage, increase inventory, increase the contextual value of the inventory from advertising, and everything went backwards, and I just, I, I think they're going to be in the penalty box for quite some time. Dan, uh, you know, our viewers know you, of course, as the CEO of Chegg, uh, in addition to so many other things, but, you know, sometimes gets lost. You've also been a longtime board member of Adobe, which perhaps is one of yeah. the most successful stories that we've seen in technology over the last decade. So tell me, you're on the board of Snap now. You're in that room. What are you trying to <laughs> implore them to do in terms of changing the trajectory? Well, uh, what Adobe did was understand what its core business was and recognize that its business model was not working. And it was dealing with professionals who were getting fewer, but it was recognizing more creatives were being built because of the internet. And so the CEO brilliantly turned the company around, went to the cloud, change its model. What Snap has to do is ask itself, what is its core value proposition? I don't understand the concept of glasses or spectacles. What does it do? It's a communications app. It's competing with other communications app. Facebook has three most powerful communication apps, and it's got to go directly at what Facebook doesn't do well for its users. So there's a moment in time right now where Facebook and its users are having a question about what does Facebook do? Right, the platforms aren't integrated yet, but they will be. Uh, they're bringing out features that Snap started with onto all their stuff. So Snap needs to not only innovate their way out, they just need to be better at execution, focus on what their consumers want from them instead of giving them things they don't care about, and then execute brilliantly on it. And, and frankly, the possibility is there. It just feels like they don't know what their core business is right now. If it's Although, advertising, you know then go ahead. I was just going to say, Dan, on the conference call, we got a little snapshot of, of some things that are going right. I mean, there was a lot to hate about this, but they did say during the Winter Olympics, 81 million people watched the coverage on Discover in different languages. During March Madness, the snaps were put on the stadio, stadium jumbotrons in 67 different games. I mean, this, this sort of feels like Twitter. There's some relevance there, and exactly. they capture the moments it, well, it, yet they can't quite figure out how to make money and keep the user growth and engagement, I guess, going strong. Well, what Twitter, what Twitter has done, I think, very well, actually, is stay in the fight, re, you know, see themselves for what they are. They're a news and an event situation, and they're monetizing around events and around news. Snap, Snap can do very well around events, but how many events are there, and how do you monetize around those events? And that's a very choppy business model. So if they, they can leverage that to build an ongoing business, but at the moment, if all they can do is rise up during events that they don't even control, it's very difficult to monetize those things. It's taken Twitter a number of years to get into back into a sustainable growth business. So I'm not saying Snap can't do it. I'm saying Twitter really proved, they, they went back and they said, what are we? We're not Facebook. What is Snap? It's right now Instagram has out Snap Snap. And so I think Snap needs to focus again on deciding what it is, build that relationship with its consumers and its advertisers, and then go execute on it. But right now, I can't, if you ask a kid, I don't think they could differentiate between Snap and Instagram. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.